Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hans of C, and welcome to another day in Minecraft without mining, where I set my challenge to go through this world without mining any natural generated blocks. So, where do we stand? Last time we uh, did this uh, contraption back there where we can convert villagers and today uh, we need a place to put all these villagers in and that's what this square uh, spaced couple monstrosity will become. I have something special planned because now that we have different wood types also have a, a stone uh, you can already see that we do have a bit more uh, variation possibility of creating the actual build so let me prepare a bit of a layout and uh, then we can see how we do with uh, the setup and the villagers the basic structure for our villager trading hall is now let out. This is only the lowest floor and on here we should have enough uh, of these cells for all the librarians that we need. Lighting is still a temporary thing and Ideally, I would have preferred dark oak instead of uh, spruce, but uh, with the current setup, dark oak is uh, hard to come by. So now we have to get the villages uh, from over there up to here and drop them in these holes because here in front. Well, we will block everything off and once they are sitting in there in their minecarts uh, then we can break the cart and close the hole in the roof with a bit of uh, a light source. That should work out fine. I have now completed a more or less beautiful ramp with uh, rails all the way to our village housing setup and I also used a bit of power rail. Not sure if that's enough to get up there. We will see and then we have to look how to deal with them okay we get a second conversion that was not intended but we can uh, lower the price that way Ever. Yeah. And go to nap. And then we wait again and this time once we uh, have finished with him he should roll out. Actually we infected our fisherman here that we have for the arrows and now they are even cheaper so we do not need to lock any trades in with him or trade but what we will do we will send him up here and then around here and park him here on the side so that we then can basically uh, do the uh, villagers this way around um, see if they have good traits uh, and 
for the for the librarians maybe they are even cheap enough so they actually do not need any zombification or if we decide we can always do that so let's bring you down and let's send you on that was not enough And then we fix this here. Um. And then you, my friend. So fast. Ah, yeah. I should have turned that that way. And you go here or there. And off you go. Yeah, all the way, and in he is, and he has arrived here. Um, we will put in the light source and then break the minecart. I did not want to hit you, but that's what happened anyway. And then we move on to the next hole for the next villager to fill all the librarians in here. That will be a bit time consuming, so uh, uh, enjoy while I do all the hard work. four librarians are now in place I only have to uh, put the signs with the labels on them but this is only the first layer of our village trading hall so I will go ahead add a second layer on top of it where we can house all the masons uh, mainly to get all the various terracotta colors and also glazed terracotta and of course for the quartz. Here we now have the first mason that has traits that are duplicated so I already have the black and the lime glazed terracotta sent over there so this basically means it will go this way um or that was the intention uh, i think we need a few more blocks around there so that does not pop out where he should not. Two layers of our villager halls, or is it only one hall, that we will see at the end, are now done and I think I will call this an episode and as this is the last one before uh, Christmas, maybe I can find the time to have a few shorter ones uh, 
until the uh, end of the year and do a bit more progress uh, here with the villagers. So, see you then. Goodbye.